I want to announce today that I have asked my staff to re-inspect all city-owned bridges that are rated poor below. Mayor Ed Ganey wants to restore the public's trust in infrastructure after the collapse of the Fern Hollow Bridge. The crews will soon begin replacing the bridge that connected the East End with Oakland and Squirrel Hill. Chris Hoffman is live with the latest on the construction plan. Chris. Ken and Kim, here's what's left of the Fern Hollow Bridge at this point. Just pretty much an empty ravine between Regent Square and Frick Park. But in April, Pendutch says shovels will be in the ground to get the new Fern Hollow Bridge up in the next year or so. Now, that needs to be done in a timely manner because Pendot has another bridge project right down the street, the commercial bridge over, uh, or excuse me, the bridge over Commercial Street on the Parkway East. And this is potentially the detour for all those drivers. The images of that fateful January day are still fresh in Mayor Ed Ganey's mind. We want to make sure that none of us wake up to this again. The mayor says 22 city-owned bridges in poor condition will be re-inspected, and if any are deemed unsafe, they will be closed. He wants people to know when they drive across a bridge, they are safe. The only way we can do that is one, is getting this, this bridge repaired first, and really taking a look at the reassessment of the other bridges. New renderings came out today for the new Fern Hollow Bridge. PennDOT says to expedite the construction process, the road alignment will stay the same. Four lanes for the more than 14,000 cars that use it a day. A shared use path will be on the south end for both bikes and scooters. It's critical that this bridge is open before the Commercial Street project um, gets started, so that's very important. Right now, the ravine is clear of debris and ready for the crews to start the rebuilding process. The federal government gave PennDOT $25.3 million to help. State leaders went to the site today to see the need for infrastructure investment, not only in our area, but across the state, where about 3,400 bridges are in poor condition. Every single community across the Commonwealth, whether rural, urban, or suburban, has safe roads, safe bridges. Due to supply chain issues, no exact completion date has been announced. Now, Mayor Ganey did not have an exact timeline on when a report would be done about those 22 bridges in poor condition, but he does say PennDOT will be helping with those inspections. Live this evening in Regent Square, Chris Hoffman, KDKA News.